What is the definition of happiness? Dr. Lubomirsky, in her book, The How of Happiness, defines it as an experience of joy, contentment, positive well-being, that combined with the sense that one's life is good, that it's meaningful, that we're worthwhile. It's really something every person has to define for themselves, what that feels like, what that looks like. But the question still remains, what do you do with that? Why is it important? Can you even increase it? Can you make yourself happier? And the answer is yes. What makes you happy and why? What makes you happy? Uh, my family. Yeah. Why? Because it's very part of my life. I spend time with my wife mostly. Uh, we don't get a lot of time together and we were separated for about a year and a half. What we learn is that we have every one of us these parameters called set points. A set point simply defines how happy you can be and how unhappy you can be. And what that is comprised of is 50% of that set point comes from your parents. You can blame them for how happy or unhappy you are. 10% actually comes from the situations that you're placed in. So where you live, the way that you grew up, um, your job and your career, how much money you make. Only 10% you'd think it'd be more. But the really astonishing factor is that 40% of what will make you happier or more unhappy comes from the decisions you choose to make. And that 40% has to do with the decisions that you make to make yourself happy. So what makes you happy and why? Um, definitely my family, just because they're the best. Okay. Yeah, family's great and also the gospel. Um, music makes me happy because it helps me relax. Frank Lloyd Wright said something profound about happiness. He said most people are no more than janitors of their possessions. This means that we collect and we develop all these different things and yet none of it really brings us lasting happiness. We're just simply taking care of it. We're dusting it off every week or every month or every couple of years when we even pull it out. See, happiness isn't found in the things that you have or the things that you can obtain. Happiness is inside of us. That thought that you can obtain more happiness by the things that you get is called a hedonic treadmill. It means the faster that you're running and the farther that you're trying to go, you're really only standing in one place. For example, that boat that's advertised at the Cabela's down the street, you want that boat so bad because you know it'll make you happier so you go and you buy it. But now, you feel like it's not enough and you have to go and get the four wheelers as well. And on and on and on. So instead of running on this treadmill like a maniac, who that guy was, learn to elevate your experience by using the tools and the resources you already have. These are called signature strengths. They're things that are uniquely designed to you that enable you to build on your well-being. And they provide the greatest outcome or quality result. So. Signature strengths are things that enable each of us to develop a greater sense of who each of us are and then to create deeper levels of happiness. So one of those signature strengths for me is an appreciation of beauty and nature. So places like the mountains or where you get off of the beaten path are experiences that help me to connect with really who I am and these enable me to build upon and grow in my levels of happiness. So one example of using judgment and critical thinking is here at Taco Bell. So it's a big menu and I only have so much, but by using judgment and critical thinking, I can go through and examine which item best meets my hunger needs, which item is gonna taste the best, which is gonna meet like that hunger, that craving that I have, and also which is gonna be the best for price. And that is, you can see, the $1 stacker is the best choice. And I would totally buy it if I had mine. So one of the best ways that you can increase your happiness is learning how to savor the experiences that you have. And this is called living in every moment. For example, you go and you have this delicious hamburger that you just created, and you're sitting there and you're taking the bite slowly, you're breathing it in, your eyes are closed, you can feel the meat sweats coming on. You're with friends, you're at home where you're comfortable, and you learn to just embrace these experiences to the maximum. So we've talked about a few different things today that you can do to increase your happiness. So whether it's utilizing your strengths or learning to savor your daily experiences or even just expressing more gratitude, the power is in you to make a better life. And so what are you gonna do? Live happy.
choose to be healthy, say thank you. Make someone else's day better. Live adventurously, dream, and go to the mountains. This life is your life, so how are you going to live it with the time that you have? Sun and this is all just got really dumb, but <laughs> it is what it is. And I'll just kind of take a pause so I can like splice it. Mountains! <laughs> Squat Peak, take 24. <laughs> You're so good to me! <laughs>